for Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, this time of year, of course, so we are still, what time is it? Four hours from sunset. And while we do have some extra clouds right now, over the next couple of hours from west to east, we'll start to see some hazy sunshine increasing once again. But, you know, it's a quiet day. There's not much going on as far as, you know, showers and thunderstorms. Obviously, it's the last thing we need. We've had so much rain during the... Um, uh, during the month of July and uh, okay, Lincoln's back. It was dark. It's back. <laughs> you see some of the hazy uh, sunshine and clouds right now. It's quiet. No precipitation temps, you know, really where we should be for, you know, mid July, generally in the lower 80s in most locations. Humidity has come down a little bit, especially in our northern suburbs. It's still rather high along the south shore, but further inland, it's dropped off a bit, so it's not quite as muggy, but it does make a return over the next couple of days. So it's just kind of a brief break from the humidity. Still have uh, scattered showers in the forecast for Friday, but here's some of the, the changing on this. It looks more scattered than widespread, so good news there, but the, the chance is there. And I'm leaning actually more towards like a late, late afternoon, early evening. And the better news, the weekend still looks nice both Saturday and Sunday. We'll see that in the seven day forecast. So some thin clouds overhead right now. But when we take a look off to our west in Connecticut, the sun is coming back out. In fact, just noticing some sunshine in northwest Rhode Island. So we'll see that increasing over the next couple of hours. Precipitation offshore stays away. A cold front, there it is, has, has come through. and It's just uh, introduced some slightly drier and slightly lower humidity levels. I wouldn't call it ultra refreshing, but it's not quite as high as it was yesterday. And you can see the rain free weather back through the Midwest. This will continue tonight right on through uh, Thursday and our temperatures all summer long have been, you know, warm and very humid, but nothing unusual. But boy, the heat has been incredibly extreme across the deep south, not just for multiple days, but multiple weeks. We don't see any signs of that heat working in here. So we're getting real close. I'm going to walk you through the forecast. Watch the time bar right up in here. Uh, showers staying offshore to quiet night. Humidity starts to rise once again overnight. Here we are tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Starts off in the upper 60s. No rain, no thunder by the uh, mid-afternoon or early to mid-afternoon. Temperatures somewhere between about 80 and 84. Bottom line, it's a nice day. Sunshine, some fair weather clouds. Here we are at 6 o'clock in the evening in the upper 70s to near 80. And then later tomorrow night at 11 o'clock, low 70s under partly cloudy skies. So the breakdown for tomorrow morning with some sunshine, looking at temperatures by 11 a.m. at around 80. It's a nice day. Uh, very seasonable uh, temperatures where they should be for this time of year. And somewhere between about 82 and 84 degrees tomorrow. Sunshine just mixing with some fair weather clouds. Bay forecast, the wind is northeast and then southeast at 5 to 10 knots. Visibility unlimited. Uh, beach is looking okay with some sunshine, air temperature in the lower 80s, water temp in the lower 70s. All right, seven day forecast still going with a chance for scattered showers and thunder on Friday. We're thinking very late day, early evening, just in time for the weekend, and this is well deserved. Dry weather and comfortable both Saturday and Sunday. All right, Tony, thank you. 12 News anchor Mike Montecalvo joins me now with a look at what's to come on 12 News at 5. Mike? Hi, Kayla. A woman and her son reached out to